We're back with a Fox 35 exclusive. A man lost half of his skull after falling off a skateboard. Doctors are right now trying to get swelling in his brain under control. His mom has been by his side since the accident last month. And she spoke exclusively to Fox 35's Esther Bauer about her son's recovery and what she wants every parent to know. We're here on Willis Street, and this is the last sidewalk a local skateboarder took a ride on before he crashed and had to have half of his skull removed from the accident. He's a survivor. The doctor said I didn't think he was going to make it. Matt Reyes was on life support for three and a half weeks. He lost half his skull and is just now starting to make small movements again after. He either hit a pebble or something, lost control just took a tumble and fell. A fall on the sidewalk while riding an electric skateboard. When the paramedics got there, they had to incubate him because it was so bad. There was blood coming out of his ear and the back of his head. Lisa Reyes says her 25 year old son loved riding his board and she never worried about his safety until this accident. No, absolutely not. And he's an adult. He's 25 years old. I didn't think that I had to worry about that. Her message is simple. Make sure your child wears a helmet. It is so important. The nonprofit Bike Walk Central Florida is committed to spreading this mom's message and getting more helmets on heads. The fact of the matter is, is, is playing. Helmets save lives. We know that through research, through all of the data, it points to all of it. Patrick Panza says helmets also reduce head injuries and severe trauma in an accident by 40 to 60 percent. Get a story out there so that people understand wear a helmet so that hopefully this doesn't happen to somebody else that you love and care about. And Matt's recovery could take years, but his mom says she is sharing his story now to hopefully save a life and protect others from the trauma their family is going through. She's asking for prayers as her son continues to heal. Reporting in Palm Bay, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News.